In this video, we're going to see how to extract individual elements from a list using Car and Cutter. So here I've defined a list with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 elements in it. And some of these elements are actually in their own list. So there's not actually 11 elements in this list, but because some of the elements themselves are lists. If you'll recall the definition of Car and Cutter, the car is the first element of the list. And we can think of the cutter as the list with the first element removed. So if I just say car and cutter of this list, the car is this, and the cutter is this list here. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to extract each of these elements using just car and cutter. So I've already done the first one, this. Now if I do is, I'll need to take the car of the cutter of the list, and that will give me just is. Now, A is a little trickier because if I say the cutter of the cutter of the list, I can see A at the beginning of this. So you may think, well, let's just take the car. But when I take the car of this list, then you'll see that it's actually this list here. So it's actually almost all the other elements that appear in the list with the exception of end. So what I'll need to do is since this is a list, the first element is the car of the list. Now I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use it again. But if I ask for the car of the list we have above, notice that we have just A. So I want to keep track of this piece here because that's this list, because that's actually what I'm going to be working on from here on out. So I'll make a note to myself that this is going to give me this list. And when I print this out, it should, yeah, you can see that they're the same. So now that tells me the, to get A, I have the car. Now you'll notice the second element of that list is also a list. So there's a, I'll need to take the car of the cutter of this list. So very similar to what we had before, except we're going to take the cutter that takes A off the list. And then I want to take the car of that list. And now you can see I get this list here. So to get scheme and list off of that, I take the car of that list and I take the car of the cutter of that list. And that should give me scheme and list. Width is pretty straightforward. So again, going back to this original time that we took that large list element off, giving us this, to get width, there's the cutter and then another cutter here. So it's the car of the cutter of the cutter of this entire list. And that's exactly what we want. We don't actually need this. So that gives us width. Now, our next thing is, is several. And you may say, well, okay, I know what to do there. I just need to add another cutter to that string of cutters right there. It's going to be the car. Well, first off, let's say if we if we ask for the cutter, you can see that several is there. So let's take the car of that. And when I do that, you'll see that I get, oops, several is a in a list by itself. So I need to add one more car to actually extract that element from the list. Even though it's the only element in the list, I still need to use car to get to it. So now I need to get this list out. So let's go back to this, the cutter of the cutter the cutter. Actually, this might not be it. Yeah, that will do it. So here we have, we want to take the cutter to get this list. So let's take one more cutter. And we sh that should give us just the one list. However, notice there's only one element in this list, and it's this list. So we need to take the car of that list. And then I'll copy and paste the line above. And that gives us the list we want. So this is the one we're going to be working with. I'll delete this one just to be sure we're on the right page. Yeah. And again, feel free to use these hints to tell you, hey, this is how to get this piece, because then you can focus on how do I get it out of this? You can treat this as one whole. In fact, you could even do a define and say define you know, list two to be this, and then you could start working on the car and the cutter. In fact, actually, that might be a good way to do this. So let's let's define help list to be 
that. So when I run this, that's exactly what I want. So as we work on this, we can ask for the car of help list. And then notice that actually gives us the list. So let's add the car here as well. I think we missed the car before. So yeah, there we go. And you'll notice the car of help list is now that. I can focus on getting the next piece out. Well, the cutter is going to be the list with this list in it. So the car of that cutter. is going to be in it. So the car of that is going to be in, and then the car of the cutter of that is going to be it. Again, we have a situation where it's a single element list. So we'll have to take the car to get that out. And there it is. So let's delete this because that's not what we were looking for. And I think this is also one that we weren't looking for. So when I run this, notice I get symbols in it. I've extracted those out. Now, if I want to make this one statement that doesn't use any helpers, I can copy what I defined that list to be. And in place of help list here, I can put that long sequence of cars and cutters. Press run. And it works like I would expect. So... I'll take that line out. So finally, we need to get to end. And what's nice about that is if we take the cutter of the cutter of, of list. I didn't like that because I put that in quotes. But I think we actually need one more cutter anyway. Yep, that gives us the list with end in it. Because the first cutter starts here, the second here, and the third cutter here. So if we take the car of that, that will give us end. And now we've extracted every element from that list. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. First, most importantly, of how to work with car encoder. And second of all, how to use car encoder to extract any arbitrary element from a list, no matter how nested the list is.